first meeting was a few years ago where Jordan Tech won 88-69, and Jordan Usher with the alley-oop to kick things off. The night, John. Oh, yeah, Sturdivant, the senior, sees Usher on the back door cut. Meanwhile, here comes Lamar, their first offensive possession. Ellis Jefferson goes down low, and Corey Nickerson off the glass to draw us even to two. And, John, what are your keys for tonight's game? I'm on opening night. Here come the Yellow Jackets the other way. Inside to Howard. Oh, an acrobatic floater there from Howard. He's got two. Someone's looking to establish offense and could have a little cushion. Smith over to Coleman. Long three. Bottoms. Here comes Davon Smith. He wants to run. The Mississippi State transfer all the way to the hole, and that's swatted away by Valentine Cat. Out of Orangefield, Texas for Cat. That's just 25 minutes away from Beaumont in the southeastern portion of the state. Roberts trying to change that. Leaves his feet. It's picked off by DeVoe. Lead pass ahead to Miles Kelly. He gets it to fall. DeVoe trying to continue to pour it on. Coleman on to Kelly. Sinks it, Miles Kelly. So Georgia Tech up 15 to 2. And Miles Kelly, wow, he has showcased. And Lamar just one basket on the day. They are 0 for their last 11. Buster, a wild attempt, but it's right at the fingertips and in. He led them in scoring last year, 15 a night. Battling injury with a concussion. He's got 900 plus career points in a Lamar uniform, so he can put it in the hole. So can Michael DeVoe. That was a mighty pure stroke. DeVoe, floor leader for the Jackets. Going baseline. Nice job adjusting in midair. Lincoln Smith tapped out by Howard into the arms of Miles Kelly. Coleman tries his luck. Another one. Debo Coleman, the Yellow Jackets, now four of eight from distance. Freshman from Beaumont, Texas. Nice little side shuffle pass to Coleman, and he's red hot, folks. Debo Coleman moves left, bowls over his man. They let him play. Kelly stuffed by Carpenter. And the rebound belongs to C.J. Roberts, but it's Carpenter wide open underneath. How about getting it done on both ends? Every made basket has been by assist. That's what Josh Pastor wants to see. And that will continue as Coleman feeds Usher. Yeah, you lose a guy like Jose Alvarado who can, he's got the speed and transition, can probe, had tons of minutes under his belt. Um, passing the basketball is going to be effective, and he, find that guy. He cannot miss. Steve Coleman is four of four. Yep. Jackets as a team are six of ten tonight. McClure gets the land. They like him. It seems like when he does struggle, which is rare, it, it's when he is a little too aggressive. How do you go about that as a coach, trying to rein that in and, and help him work through that? Yeah, no doubt about it. You want to see the aggression. Reyes and now Cat, who bodies up Howard here. That's just a good move. Rodney Howard, and that was the question, his offensive game. You better bite your tongue, Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> McClure, got it. Well, Lamar coming in transition here. Payson Harrison tries to dump it off to Valentine Cat, and uh, might have had a shoe issue, but he got the bucket. We have seen Jordan Mecca with some minutes tonight. Yeah, Howard's getting 28 minutes per contest because he's doing that. You know, he's running the floor. And my pops was a high school coach in my hometown. See man, see ball. See man, see ball. But to the baseline. I mean, it's drilled into my head. I mean, I, I'm a coach's son, so I, Debo played for his dad. I know what he got at home. Yellow Jackets turned the ball over only four times. They have 13 assists on 14 field goals. And Khalid Moore with the basket. Coach Passano says, we got 20 minutes left. Wipe that smirk off your face. <laughs> and of course, Georgia Tech knows this is the final 20 minutes on their home floor before they head on the road Friday. Harrison led the Southland with 15 points per game la last year against or amidst freshmen. As he lays in another bucket. Well, Tech won't leave the state of Georgia for a game until mid-December when they go out to Arizona to play Southern Cal. Three-pointer no good. A nice put back there by Lincoln Smith, and Lamar's cut it to 11 here. 
they say teams take the identity of their coach and you know we know all about coach brooks and what he means and what his dna is wiley you know a guy like devoe the, the leader uh when you need a bucket he's gonna find one and a great find buster to cat on, on the gridiron as well mm -hmm. Miles Kelly has it jarred loose. Here comes Davion Buster. Hands it to Harrison. And with the reverse off the glass and in, it's down to single digits. And John, the story of this second half. Instead, it goes right to Buster. And now the Yellow Jackets, another turnover. Three-pointer. Got it! Has been busted up here in the first seven minutes of the second half. DeVoe trying to answer. Got it. That's a big-time shot. Uh, you got to go through Usher and DeVoe in these situations, or a senior like Sturdivant. Kyle Sturdivant, that's his first bucket of the day. Howard earns a second chance possession. Usher from distance, drills it, Jordan Usher, and how about the three seniors with a trio? Now DeVoe. DeVoe curling in, left elbow jumper, drilled it. Didn't miss in the first half, that three too long. And stolen away by Kaysen Harrison. He's really come alive here in the second half after it was a, a poor first half. Three ball, Adams got it, his second triple of the half. Cardinal in double figures with 10. And Sturdivant turns it over underneath. Harrison racing in, laying it off the rim and in. The senior feeds it to the block with Carpenter. Roberts gets a step to the hole. And now he's trying to lead Lamar to a huge road win and a huge second half comeback as Adams has cut it to six and he'll have a chance with our three point play. Usher, dangerous pass. Smith to the corner, three pointer. Yes, sir. Debo Coleman. The freshman. Dribble penetration by Smith and a left hand kick to Debo spotting up. Oh, Great the offense. C's parted for Case and Harrison. He's now got 10 second half points. Lamar has put up 32 second half points. Smith looking for a long range connection. He got it. Davon Smith. Boy, that's a big shot for the Mississippi State transfer. Nearly turned it over. Smith. Spinning, kicking out, Moore, drilled it, Khalid Moore. To Moore, doing the job, making his teammates better. Moore from the corner, big time three. That is the sixth three-pointer of the period. And right back at you, C.J. Roberts, the transfer from New Mexico State. Alvin's going to play small on most nights. And their advantage is going to be speed, transition, and what you've seen in the second half, just playing north to south, downhill. And Jordan Usher with a second chance bucket. And that ball is saved by Khalid Moore. I thought we had another turnover. Instead, it is Jordan Usher with the scoop. Where will Harrison go? Around the horn. Finds Cat underneath, and nice touch from the big fella. Georgia Tech going small, which means Cat has the advantage down low. For DeVoe, backing up, trying to find a shot. Instead, finds the open man, and Usher with the jam. Good now they job. can milk some clock. Good job of the Jackets contesting threes, you know, pushing Lamar off the three-point line. There you see the backdoor cut. Tebo again. Smith rips it free. He can get up. Look out. Yeah. <laughs> Davon Smith. You try and figure out what those roles are. What do we learn, you think, in these first three games? Yeah, then seeing the makeup mentally of your team. Who steps up, you know, when the, when the, when the bell rings, who's going to show up? And he'll be able to dribble it out. The Yellow Jackets pick up the win over Lamar. A little tighter in the second half than they expected, but they are 2-1 three games into the season.